Hey, what's up guys? Diggin' Dave. So my local bank had some extra penny rolls. They're customer wrapped penny rolls. I just used some old penny boxes to kind of keep track. I have $25, $50, and here I think I have about uh, $10 worth. So I think I have about $60 worth of pennies. So not too bad. So that would be uh, 50, 100, um, I think I have about 120 rolls or $60 worth of pennies. There were two enders in here if I can find them. Um, out of all the roll, out of all the rolls I checked, I had uh, two wheat penny enders. That one looks a little older and there's another one. I think I might go ahead and open up these rolls first. I'm going to start with this partial box of about 20 rolls. And then I'll move on to these other boxes. So I'll just kind of keep track and tell you guys what role I'm on or if I lose track, whatever. But let's get digging into, into these customer wrapped pennies. Hopefully we have some goodies in here. Let's get digging. All right, guys. So those two ender rolls gave me three wheat pennies. Uh, the two reverse enders were a 1950 and a 1946 Denver. And then in... Uh, the same role as the 46 Denver, there was another wheat penny in 1958 Philadelphia. Is that a little bit of a die chip there on the reverse wheat stock, possibly? Maybe, nothing too dramatic, though. All right, I might update you guys every 5 or 10 rolls, depending on how much I find. But, yep, three wheat pennies. Let's keep on digging. So, all right, guys, I went through that first partial box of customer-wrapped rolls. I showed these three earlier and the rest of the rolls, the other 18 rolls, I only got two more wheat pennies, a 54 Denver um, and a 53 Denver. So next I'll move on to a full $25 box worth of customer wrapped rolls, 50 rolls, and then I have a second box worth of customer wrapped rolls. Hopefully we can find a little more in the next 50 rolls. Let's keep on digging. All right, guys, the first 10 rolls, I think I'm just going to update you all every 10 rolls unless I find something crazy. The first 10 rolls is going to give me three wheat pennies, a 1946 Philadelphia, a beautiful 1940S in pretty nice condition. You don't see ones in the 40s in this condition very often, 40S. This one right here is going to be a 1946S. So three wheat pennies in the first 10 rolls. Let's keep on digging. Just a little update. Another 10 rolls done in the book. And got one more wheat penny. So 10 more rolls, only one wheaty. Hey, it's better than nothing though. A 1952 Denver. Let me do another 10 rolls and see what else we can find. Let's keep on digging. All right, guys, I went through the rest of the rolls in the first box, and I actually have to correct something. I counted all the rolls in the second box worth, and I guess since these rolls are a little bulkier, they're a little wider or thicker, they have thicker brown paper on them, I actually have 40, 40 of the brown rolls fit in a box instead of 50. A $25 box of pennies is supposed to hold 50 rolls, so earlier in this video, I said I had 120 rolls. I actually just have 100 rolls of pennies. So the first 20 rolls I did, and then I just did 40 rolls, which gave me a couple more wheat pennies, and then I still have 40 more rolls to go through of customer-wrapped rolls. So I just wanted to correct that. I said I had 120 rolls when I really have 100 rolls, which would be... Um, a hundred rolls which would be exactly two boxes worth of pennies so fifty dollars worth of pennies but let me show you guys what else i found a 1949 s a 57 denver a 52 denver 1944 and a 1948 denver all right, let me go through the next 40 rolls. Like I said, I'll probably update you every 10 rolls or so. Let's see what else we can find. This obviously isn't like a collection dump. I'm not finding a crazy amount of wheat pennies. Haven't found any errors, varieties, or double dies yet. But we are finding some wheat pennies here and there. So still having fun. Let's keep on digging. 
Alrighty, so the first 10 rolls of the last 40 rolls I have. We're going to get a 1936 Denver in pretty rough condition, but it is a 36 Denver. Nice. And a 1958 Denver. I did check for a repunch mint mark. It does not have one, but a pretty nice 58 Denver. 30 rolls left. Let's keep digging. Alrighty, another 10 rolls is going to give me a couple more cool finds. A 1946 Philadelphia. A 1937, it's always fine, or it's always fun to find those wheat pennies in the 30s and earlier, 51 Denver. And this right here was a date that I um, don't find very often. A 1938 San Francisco. Now, I don't believe it's a low mintage or anything like that, but a 38S, that's a cool date. Let's keep on digging. So, all right, this is pretty cool. Just a couple rolls later, and I've never found one of these before until now. It is a 2019, and it's clearly a doubled die. Look at that nice spreading in the 2, the 0, the 1, and the 9. Look at Liberty. Unfortunately, it's not in the best condition, but it is a doubled die. So I will hold on to it. Um, let me show you guys over here on Variety Vista. It's right here. It matches up with the DDO001. And again, if you look here, it is a confirmed double die on Variety Vista. So yeah, I don't think it's a super valuable double die, but definitely a double die. I'll hold on to it 100%. It's not in the best condition, unfortunately, but I'll put it in a flip and I'll add it to my collection. Let's keep on digging. So I did another 10 rolls and got that 2019 Double Die 001. That's my first one of these I've ever found. Like I said, it's not in the best condition. The back's pretty beat up, but it is a verified Double Die, so I'll definitely hold on to that. And out of 10 rolls, only got one more Wheat Penny, a 1940 Philadelphia. So 10 rolls to go, and then we'll do a wrap-up for this $50 or 100 Customer wrapped penny roll hunt. Let's keep on digging. Alrighty, just finished up the last 10 rolls for this video and got a 56 Denver, a 53 Denver, and another 56 Denver. So out of $50 in pennies or 100 rolls, I got 5, 10, 15, 20, 24 wheat pennies. Not too bad. So 24 wheat pennies for this video. I didn't film these, but I did get a decent amount of Canadians, some newer ones, a couple 64, 63 young heads, uh, the most common, so a few Canadians. Honestly, I'd probably say my favorite find out of this hunt or this video is this 2019 double die. Like I said, not in the best condition, but 100% a double die. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new. Until next time, keep on digging.